I am Sharon Brown and I am in the Internal Medicine and Cardiovascular Diseases Clinician Investigator Program here at Mayo Clinic and I'm excited to tell you about our article entitled Quadrilateral Space Syndrome, the Mayo Experience with a New Classification System and a Case Series. The article will be available within the next couple of months in Mayo Clinic Proceedings. Now, quadrilateral space syndrome, or QSS, is a rare yet potentially debilitating entity. The syndrome arises from compression or mechanical injury to the axillary nerve in neurogenic QSS or the posterior circumflex humeral artery, or PCHA, in vascular QSS as the nerve and artery pass through the quadrilateral space. Quadrilateral space is bound medially by the long head of the triceps, laterally by the neck of the humerus, inferiorly by the teres major, and superiorly by the teres minor. The term QSS was first coined in the 1980s, describing patients with symptoms of paresthesias from axillary nerve compression. Then, a baseball pitcher was found to have occlusion of the posterior circumflex humeral artery with distal embolization to digits of the hand. What I want you to take away from this is that for neurogenic QSS, this is caused by fixed structural impaction with space occupying lesions in the quadrilateral space or by fibrous bands in the space. Whereas, in vascular QSS, this is caused by repetitive mechanical injury to the posterior circumflex humeral artery in repetitive abduction and external rotation. You might imagine for a baseball pitcher or for volleyball players or swimmers with abduction and external rotation of the arm, as I'm demonstrating here, you can have mechanical injury to the artery as it travels through the tight quadrilateral space and around the humerus. Now, how does this affect our patients? In this article, we provide a case series of nine patients seen here at Mayo Clinic over the past decade. Two-thirds of these patients had neurogenic QSS and one-third vascular QSS. The article provides a novel algorithm for diagnosing these conditions, whether it's neurogenic or vascular QSS, as well as treatment recommendations. And simply, the definitive treatment for neurogenic QSS is neurolysis and quadrilateral space decompression. And the treatment for vascular QSS is ligation of the PCHA as well as thrombolysis for any acute thrombus or thrombectomy for any acute emboli in the hand. Now all patients, particularly elite athletes, or overhead athletes that use a significant amount of abduction and external rotation should always be assessed for quadrilateral space syndrome if presenting with paresthesias or pain or pallor in the hand or absent pulses. As mentioned, QSS is a rare and potentially debilitating condition and perhaps those in sports medicine, vascular medicine and neurology as well as any other physicians or health professionals to whom elite athletes will present with these symptoms should continue to pursue understanding, recognition, differential diagnosis, discrimination, and prognosis of both neurogenic QSS and vascular QSS. Thank you. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about health care at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.